Yeah, I like Dai's painting, uh, like especially the Thank hair. You. So I kind of, yeah, I colored. You mean the, the one hair. I showed you last time? Huh? Which uh, painting? The the rice paper one. Oh, the one I just hurry. I was in a hurry. Just showed you that one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah. Wow, oh, it's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I I could do better, but I didn't spend time just quickly. Wow, okay. wow. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you um yeah well i thought the other two people would come so i i included some of the background information i i presented last time but i i guess cn doesn't didn't attend last time should i yeah i don't mind get refreshed with them. Okay. Okay. Say it again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Advanced paintings on rice paper inspired by prints. Um I yeah, I want to present some information about Kuchi A prints. They're usually of women. Um the meaning of Kuchie is very interesting to examine. It is translated usually as mouth picture. They were used to be the cover of magazines, novels, and books. These prints depicted the culture of the Meiji period in Japan. They were created from original wood block prints. There were also typical print sizes. These sizes would allow the Kuchie artwork to fit into a magazine after being folded once or twice. Uh, Can I ask a question? Uh, yeah. What, what did that mean by a mouse picture? Um, like cool. mouse is cool. like... I, I guess cool. cool is cool. Cool. Yeah. The Japanese. Kuchi. Uh, Koji, I guess, yeah. But why is called the ko mouse? Yeah, picture? mouse is like the entrance to the magazine. I think that's. I'm not sure. Oh, why. opening, opening, uh, the cover page or something. Opening. Uh, yeah. I think oh. that's why. I'm not sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay. sure. Um, the Kuchie size would allow the Kuchie artwork to fit into a magazine after being folded once or twice, and they were created during the 1890s to 1910s. In Japanese, Kuchie is written like this. The kuchie were sometimes printed on single pages or two facing pages, but the most common version is being in a folded style on sheets of paper much larger than the books they were inside. This folded style was called orikomi. In orikomi, the smaller edge of the kuchie print corresponded to the height of the book. This narrower side was bound to the spine of the book. The longer side of the Kuchie print could go up to 11 and 3 fourths inches or around 30 centimeters. In Orikomi, these Kuchie could be spread out for viewing purposes. Uh, Kuchie prints offer perspectives on Meiji life. And this 
Nishikiye prints are the woodblock prints that are multicolored. And here I have some context of the Kuchie prints. In the 1860s, the Tokugawa rule ended and young samurai brought Mutsuhito, or later known as Emperor Meiji, from Kyoto to Tokyo to be the new ruler. These samurai tried to bring European influences in civilization and technology to Japan. The samurai imported a new calendar, postal system, legal system, educational system, and other innovations. There was also a conservative reaction to this, wanting to keep traditional Japanese customs. The Kuchie was born from this conservative reaction. There was this conservative reaction in literature and the visual arts. This became a fresh synthesis of the Kuchie, where there was the impact of West on Japan. In 1890, artist Watanabe Seite created a multicolor Kuchie print for the novel Devotion to Education for Marriage by Yamada Bimyo. And at this time, lithography and metal plate etching were available. Woodblock printing came to Japan from China during the time when Chinese characters were also adopted into the Japanese language and had been there for more than a thousand years. The process of printing with natural materials such as cherry wood, handmade paper, plant and mineral materials was integral to what it meant to be Japanese. These two aspects were a comfortable link with the past for the Japanese. And what were the precursors of Kuchie? The Buddhist monks would use movable wooden type to print sutras and religious texts. This was similar to Kuchie, which were illustrations for texts such as the above. Another precursor of Kuchie were the Izoshi, which were woodblock printed books that had both texts with Japanese characters and images. Usually both elements were printed on the same page. And both elements occupied an equal amount of space. Um, this is what I presented last time about the Shen paper. And yeah, this is just some information that I presented before. The Shen paper can either be sized or unsized. To size Shen paper, you would add the gelatin and a lump mixture to the paper. Sized shen paper is better for precise gongbi paintings and unsized shen paper is better for lingnan style paintings or xie yi paintings. Yeah, and I also presented about Chinese brushstrokes. Um, there are several basic brushstrokes. There are zhongfeng, shen, shenfeng, and it is also possible to make gradations with your brush strokes. And here's a video I showed before about Henry Lee painting and, and some information about Chinese brush paintings. If it has a technique. Do you or... want to show it again, the video? Did Xian um, look at this? Or Xian knew the surface? 
Ze uh, van Tom van. Uh, she doesn't know. Should I show it now or later? I don't know. Ask uh, yeah, if she's interested. Yeah. Do you want to see this right now? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll show it now then. How long? I forgot how long it is. Oh, was. it's long. Okay. I guess we can just watch a section of it. Yeah, I just think it's a few. few seconds. Seconds. Oh, Explain no, the, the joke. To find remote work from home and flexible. With light blue, and I mix a little ink to get a gray blue tone. Uh, I don't see the So video. my brush is slowly you, with light. You don't see it? No. Oh, so, oh, sorry. I didn't share. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Gray blue okay. first. Then I touch a little bit dark ink to the very tip uh, and uh, dilute a little bit. So there's a gradation from dark gray to light gray blue. Oh, and I hold this this brush like uh, slanting position. So I start from the back of the blue heron. I start in the opposite direction first. And gradually lift the brush. And I load the brush again in the same fashion. Light blue, gray, a little bit dark ink. Okay. The head is a head and a neck connected in one stroke. Head, neck. So notice the quick turn I made right after the head. Stop to a, a too big, like an S letter. Uh, that would be too loose. So it will not be very um, nice shape. So make a quick turn between the, the head and the neck. Here's the crown. Okay, That's and then I dry the brush, dry the brush. With a paper towel, the load dark ink. Oh, yeah. A little bit dark, not too much. So you got very dry brush contrast with the wet body. <clears throat> now I change to a stiff brush to do the Beak with dark ink. First of all, dot the eye. Because it's gonna smell, so I dot a little dot it would leave room room for smearing. And the beak start from the heavy and lift the brush. Neck. Let me repeat this. Load the gray ink. Sometimes I can start uh, directly from the head instead of the back. So I loaded the brush the same way with a gray, blue, and then a little bit, a little bit ink, tiny little bit. So this one is, I start from the head, turn, down, stop, avoid the beak, just like that. Then I stop, dark ink. 
please let's help. Okay. Add a no, back to safe brush. Use safe and soft brush volume. Uh, okay, I guess. You need to use power tower. Uh, adjust. Uh, um, in. Huh? What? Uh, do you want to watch more? You don't. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Um about Chinese brush paintings. Um, if it has a technique, the painting can show contemplation and delicacy. There is the essence of the Chinese philosophy and spirit. The painting does not have to be realistic. Those who create brush paintings need to study the techniques, elements, and principle. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Principles of traditional brush and ink painting, also called bi mo hua. And one can vary the painting by using different degrees of pressure, speed, and moisture. How does one add Chinese philosophy and spirit into the painting? And this is my um, explanation of my inspiration. In my paintings on rice paper, I like to combine Japanese prints and Chinese brush painting. This is the practice that I have with paintings on rice paper. I like to combine these two cultures because I would like to contrast them. I think the line drawings copying Japanese prints are interesting compared to the expressiveness of the Chinese brush painting. And yeah, I showed this last time. I would like to show some famous Kuchie artist work. Some famous artists of this genre include Hirazaki Eiho, Ikeda Shoen, Kiyokata Kapuragi, and others. It is said that many of the great artists of the time made Kuchie because it provided a reliable income. And I showed these images already, but um, here is Aki Eho. Um, um, yeah, Beauty and a Mirror. Uh, here is Aki Eho, Beauty Otomi. This depicts the heron Yoko Bushi Otomi from the popular kabuki play Yowana Sake Ukina no Yokogushi. And he was the student of the famous painter and printmaker Toshihide Migita. Ikeda Shoen, Portrait of a Young Woman. Ikeda Shoen was a woman and studied with Mitsuno Toshikada. She is one of the most respected female painters in Eastern Japan. Um, Ikeda Shoen, November, balmy, autumn weather. Um, Kiyokata Kaburaki, Cosmos. He became a student of Toshikata Mizuno and his first job was illustrating. Oh, oh wow. Is this the one you copied? Oh, wow. Oh, I can't hear you. But... Oh. I mean, this is the one I copied, oh, <laughs> but really? I didn't have time to, to, to do the color. Oh. and also the flowers thingy yeah. oh cool i yeah i like your drawing 
you know, painting. Um, his first job was illustrating for a Tokyo newspaper called Yamato Shinbun. Uh, Kiyokata Kaburagi, Tipsy Beauty. Kajita Hanko, Girl and Maple Leaves. He was an apprentice of Nabeta Gyokue. Book, a book for further inspiration, Woodblock Kuchie Prince, uh, Reflections of Meiji Culture. Um, and I like Kuchie because it combines the aesthetic of the Japanese prints, but also has a realistic feel to it. I am interested in the portrayal of beautiful women. Also, um, I have been trying to add a background to my Kuchie imitation. I pay attention to the kimono and try to add a pattern to it too. Uh, painting the Kuchie on the rice paper could be difficult to add a pattern to the kimono because the rice paper absorbs everything. And I think painting is more contemplative and slower than drawing. So you should take your time in painting. I don't know. And I like dyes. I, I try to yeah, color in the hair this time. And yeah, these are on watercolor papers. And um, you can see I tried to add a pattern to the kimono, but um, yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. And this is my older uh, rice paper. Kuchie imitations I already showed. That those lines are not from brush, right? No, it's the ink pen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a a, a, a kind of painting more precise. I mean easier to control or whatever. It's different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's harder with the soft brush, the strokes. Uh, okay. It takes practice to have it. Like if you want this counter, whether you can really achieve that or you want to have a dense part or, you know, it's just okay. So where often it became broken, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the pen, you mean? The... the not the, the pen, the brush one oh, is harder than. Oh, oh yeah. For example, if you want to paint this with a thin brush, it's harder to achieve the same thing that you could do with just hard ball pen, ink oh, pen. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, OK. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you put the combination of the colored part using brush, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're Chinese watercolors. Yeah, but isn't it better if you have a consistency of the fabric, for example, the cloth? What yeah. happened to the area that you didn't put any color? Oh, yeah, it, yeah, it's kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, because if without color, they look like gong bi hua, right? I mean, oh, it's not, yeah. even gong bi, it, so people practice with the gong bi, they look like a solid line, but they were done by, by the brush, thin brush, you know, yeah. Okay. But uh, if you put the color, and then people expect a certain consistency. It doesn't mean everywhere you have to have a color, but you have to have uh, some appearance 
does reflect the natural clothing or something, oh, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Where you were, you were just practicing the strokes. Oh, no, I don't. Uh, uh, you want this total effect like this or not? That's all I'm asking. Oh, uh, I guess it's uh, not finished. So I would like to. Um, okay, okay. In it completely. This yeah. is not the final appearance of a painting you would like to. Okay. Yeah. This is halfway or just part of it. Okay. Okay. And yeah, my combination of the Chinese painting with the Japanese print drawings. Um, yeah. And lastly, does my assign? Can you? Oh, sorry. Not not on rice paper, but well, either rice paper or watercolor paper that imitate the Couture style, but also has a background and pattern on it. Yeah. The pattern the key model is the wood yeah. prints or something? Uh, the, um, the, like a maple leaf or bamboo? bamboo yeah, bamboo. yeah, some kind of pattern. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Some, some pattern look like a uh, prints. Uh, yeah. Like wood prints. I see. Oh, this is what you were creating. Yeah, the I was... color part. Uh, you were trying to create the wood print parts. Is it that what you say? Uh, yeah, I I mean I have a pattern here, and I don't know. I'm just interested. Or the one, the bird, the bird flying, and then a person. You mean the bird is the the bird um, flying phoenix or something flying that one? Oh, yeah. Uh, Do you mean the the phoenix? No, I don't mean that. I um, uh, on the kimono. Um, How about you give it one that we should in imitate that has a wood uh yeah like wood print background uh, like those bamboo uh plants or maple leaf that that kind of thing in the background of a poetry of yeah like they have the pattern on the kimono and the which part is the pa pattern you mean uh like the clothing just the clothing yeah okay Okay, okay, okay. For this one, what is the pattern? The the next one. Um. No, the the second next next. Yeah, one like, more next. No, yeah, like, next. Sorry, which one? Yeah, this one. This one. No, yeah, no, the last one. Um, you mean the pattern on the fabric? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. You mean the, the, the fabric has certain printed fabric pattern? Uh, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Oh, maybe checker or flower and repetitive pattern on the dress. Yeah. And they look like by printing, uh, by wood print, not um, by drawing. But, yeah. but we do it on um, watercolor paper or rice paper, creating that kind of effect. Is that what you want? Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, I want to know what the assignment is exactly. Is. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, the yeah. lady, the, the one, the lady with the red uh, dress, the first one. Yeah. 
You mean the pattern of her red dress? Yeah, that's what I mean. Flower meant. pattern. I see. It's a repetitive patterns on her dress. Or mm -hmm. the, the other lady had a pattern of square shaped pattern, design it, patterns. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, now I understand. But are these done by print or by the um, brush? Oh, I I'm pretty sure it's the print. Their prints, but by wood prints, I see. And then they paint with some lines by by yeah brush. I see. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the print is because they want to repeat. They want to make copies of many books or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know then. But then the painting, it, the drawing has to be printed too. The drawing? Oh. Yeah, the lines, they have to be exactly the same if they are to produce books. Right. They don't draw each, each uh, book cover a, a, a new fresh line. Okay. So what is the original? Originally, they have to paint a painting with brush. Yeah, and then create wood wood um, blocks for creating different color. You have different molds or something like that, right? They cover it. Yeah, like a four color was five color, and a different sets of thing would give you darker red or lighter red. Each oh, time okay. they make make a print or something, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it won't be the same uh, between the many copies of the book. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I remember you show one time how do they do the wood carving and then printing. Yeah. And then they press and they, they push hard on the surface of the paper and they create a copy of the print, wood print. Yeah. Okay. But they have to print many times with different molds, the carve the mold for different color. And some are just purely black lines, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm. Yeah, that's um that's all i have today yeah okay thank you so what what did you find from your own practice uh what did i find yeah it's a difficult or interesting or easy or which part you feel you want to improve more or you want to explore more or uh okay oh, sorry but did you have one that imitates one of the works you admire yourself uh you mean uh which one do i imitate Yeah, or do you have one you never show us that? For example, you want us to do a work. Uh huh. We create uh, one, but uh, okay. imitate their method. But uh, which one means... of yours is the, oh, okay. is the one that we should look after? Uh -huh. Like we would make our assignment piece similar to one of your piece do you have a um, piece like that um oh. or you don't have one you just want us to do and then you will continue to do yours or something 
or you think you could do equally well or even better than those artists because you admire their work or you at least you think their work's good so you want to create something similar you want us yeah. to do similar thing um, yeah. yeah you can see their kimonos are all uh have some mm -hmm. kind of pattern on it and sometimes their background is blank and, and sometimes there's a background um, what does yeah. background uh, uh, position in in terms of your language of a pattern does background painting or anything part of it thing you call the pattern or um, or you mm -hmm. just refer the pattern of the dress yeah i just mean the pattern of the dress yeah okay okay i want to make clear because yeah. uh, okay um, because the background can have certain pattern too <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, I wasn't clear. For example, the the plant, the flower, it's kind of pattern, or like the structure, the uh -huh. the one in the back, yeah. it's certain pattern. I I wasn't sure what you mean by pattern. You mean on the dress of the women? Yeah, there's certain pattern, with especially yeah. with the color or flower or something, some design, the pattern. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, should I stop the recording or I don't know? Yeah, I'd like to see your paintings. Uh, me? Can you show us again your own paintings in uh, this direction? Yeah. Okay. In your PowerPoint, you had yours. Yeah, I um, I yeah, I like how you did the hair. So I, yeah. So for this piece, you were trying to work on the hair, something. Yeah, like yeah. And the and then also pattern. You're trying to make flower or something, right? Yeah, and there's the, a pat a pattern here. Pattern. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. You want us to do similar things. Yeah, that's. Yeah. But when you are done with it, I know this probably you still want to work more. Are you going to have additional lines, darker or colored, whatever, to to define more what is where the hand would be and then where the sleeve, that folding would be? Are you going to do that, or you just want to finish like this? Um. Do do what? Sorry make a color in the other part you mean yeah do you want to paint more in oh. terms of dark lines whether it's colored or a combination of black and the color to define more like where the hand will be oh, yeah. the fingers the dress and the folding the line are you going to do more that's what i mean oh yeah i think so yeah Oh, so um, what about next piece? Next piece. Yeah, this I tried to add a pattern to. The pattern you are working yeah. with the the, the um, plum blossom pattern. Yeah. Yeah, they are pretty. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah. And yeah, but you I, look here, I hope I, you have a a more complete one piece. Of oh yeah, that's piece. true. Like you are working on uh, creating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we have to do many like yours in order to create that ultimate <laughs> uh, final oh. piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. We. All, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, yeah. you. Assignment is a lot of work. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would try to, to do the work because 
even you cannot finish one with very complete uh, everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I will try. It's interesting. I. It's interesting. It reflected today. I. I probably the first time I miss part of it. I don't remember. Remember, I one time I was not aware of your lecture and I was outside. Oh, that, that. and I rushed back. Maybe oh. I missed some. I don't know whether it was this lecture or not. But no. I remember listening to the philosophy you wanted to study this, the combination of a Chinese xie yi and the Japanese more like gongbi, like more defined, like the print like thing together. Oh. I, I did hear you last time, but I thought I probably missed that point. You said this method or the the way they painted uh, somehow reflected conservative part to the introduction of all Western oh. thing, like a law system, mail system, or the education system. You were discussing the movement of cons from conservative part and oh. this painting in the artwork reflect that one or <laughs> something. Oh, cool. That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thanks. Is it because the methodology or because of the subjects? Like these are the women wearing traditional Japanese clothing instead of Western style. Um, you know, men will wear shoes and the ladies may wear Western dress, you know. Uh -huh. Do you know the this code code GA uh, uh, reflect the conservative part through the uh, images of a lady's dress and the hairstyle, or the methodology is more of Japanese traditional? If so, what would be the new or Western technique in art? introduced that at that time oh yeah I so my question is i have two parts one is the method that it's more of japanese traditional or more con uh, conservative or the subjects like uh, the ladies yeah dress or their ha hairstyle or the uh, you know expression their life um story oh. those are the or the book itself they they were covers of novels or inserts of the novels or the book title was more of a traditional story or something or i just don't know in what sense this oh. code ga reflect the conservative part oh right so that's the first part of the question. Second, if it is the technique that or more conservative, but then what is what was the new technique introduced to the Japan art world uh, cool. from the West art world? Or I I wasn't clear. Uh, could it be both. I don't know. Uh yeah, I'm. I'm not sure either. Uh, but why? Why it, it reflects the more conservative part? Well, that, to us, I, 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 I was, I was not sensitive. Anyway, Japanese uh, painting, they all have Japan, Japanese figures, right? Lady or something. But it was interesting, you know, when you introduced the background and it became one way of uh, making book uh, pictures or insert or covers, whatever, at that time. Of course, people don't use this anymore, or at least not popular. You have modern way of creating book pictures, of course. But uh, so at that time, it was like that. OK, I learned but why it it's conservative oh. or represent. Or yeah, I wasn't clear. Okay, yeah, I think 
Um, mm -hmm. The part that's conservative is the wood block printing technique and um, using the because yeah. wood block was introduced when then you mean the, it's a much much older technique yeah i think so okay then then what was the new western or um, more uh, advanced um, or radical uh, method besides the wood block print at that time um i'm not well, uh, to us um, now it is conservative, it's an old style, yeah. But at that time, why it represent the traditional or conservative part? If it is a method part, uh -huh. uh, part, what was new at that time in our world it could be new technique to produce cover, book covers uh, or something? Um yeah, I was reading the same book I recommended. Mm -hmm. There's a sample online. Um, a book? Yeah, mm -hmm. I missed that one. Um, yeah. Um, Yeah, the book is talking about a different printing technique that was more modern, I think. Um, a, a book. Oh, this is a book written by... It's oh. um, the same book I was recommending. Um, just the same. This is the book I found. Devotion to. Oh, wood block, Kuchi a print. I see. And yeah, the book talks about the history you, a little. And... You bought the book on no, Amazon? I uh, no, it, I found it's an online book. Sample online, yeah. Oh, uh, when was that uh, uh, written or published? When, the um, book? Um, and written by whom? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, to, uh, 2000. Uh, oh, quite Hel recently. Helen Mary, okay. Oh, three authors, reflections of Meiji, Meiji culture. Oh. Uh, yeah, the different kind of printing method was more modern, I think. Yeah. At that time, you mean, there were more yeah. modern techniques, but they, this Koji A still, push on the uh, wood block printing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And oh, okay. So it is about method. It's not about the subjects. Oh, maybe. it could be too. I don't know. Yeah. Or, or, or combination. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Um, here says... Yeah, can you, can you send us a oh, title sure. or, or the information in the... Okay, yeah. In uh, your note. Or, or, or a copy of your PowerPoint. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe. okay. Yeah. I can send you my PowerPoint. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, it says it's here, in metal, metal type printing. Yeah, I that's what I was saying. If the wood block was more traditional or you know, they existed much earlier <clears throat> already. What okay. was the new uh method at the time? Yeah. Why people okay. say it's more conservative. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, it has more to say. 
Yeah, I can send you. Yeah, I don't remember when the Western world, you know, the method method of using metal for etching, you know, thing, the prints. I knew that method. I just don't remember when they were, you know, uh, invented or oh. applied. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It takes the advance in chemistry that oh. people knew using the solution to etch off what metal, you know? Yeah. Okay. So they, they were not as early as a wood block, you, but I wasn't sure when. And so what, what was the comparison between the two? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Wood block could exist long, long ago. It's like a Chinese always use wood block.